Hello, Taurus. What's going on? It's Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective read for your sign. Shout out to the first Earth sign of the zodiac cycle. If your birthday is between April 21st and May 20th, then you are a Taurus. Very much stable energy. Y'all are Earth signs, so y'all um typically find stability in Earth. If you have been dealing with stability issues um, lately, I feel like, you know, you're going to persevere because Taurus is a sign of perseverance as well. Very much sensual and sexy. You guys value love and um, relationships and just y'all are about value. I feel like very luxurious living. Like y'all like to find the things in life, <laughs> but also um, a sense of permanence as well here where it's like, you know, it's kind of hard for things to fade for you. It's just like when, I don't know, I feel like things... You get very deeply rooted into things. That's the best thing I can say. And it's kind of hard for you to like, sometimes even move on. But um, depending on the level of, you know, value that you've placed onto that thing in particular that you're dealing with. But I hope y'all are all having a good day so far. It is 2023. Y'all ready for this new year? I hope it's been kicking off for y'all um, well. Yes, yeah, the fourth day of January. Time is an illusion, though. So whenever you found this video, it is irrelevant. You were meant to find it at this point in time. And this is general and collective. So take what resonates for you and leave behind what does not resonate for you for another Taurus, okay? All right, y'all. The significant number of this reading is 10. Shout out to all of my May 10th babies and May 1st because 10 reduces to 1. And 10 is the number of culmination, something being built up. This is like the end of a cycle as well. 10 represents closure, the end of a cycle, even karma. So um, somebody could be receiving some good karma right now or just the karma that they put out right now. And um, I don't know, this is like you're at the end of this cycle though. So things are closing out for you. If it has been a little bit challenging, um, things are about to get better and you're about to transform into a better person. Hopefully, you know, uh, I can't speak for everybody, but... <clears throat> Hopefully you've learned from this cycle that you've been through and you allow things to end and just let go of whatever needs to be let go of and just start this new beginning off fresh with some new energy, plant new seeds and know that the potential is endless for you. There's always a new opportunity out there for you. My lovely Tauruses. So now we're going to get into the basis of this reading and the energy, the light energy. <clears throat> so... Spirit, what's going on with Taurus in the past? Okay, we got Soul Craft. Wow, that's so that's cool. How Soul Craft is the number ten card, and the number ten showed up here. So, yeah, look at the alignment already showing up. Ten, ten. Um, I'm thinking of yeah, like you are <clears throat> building some sort of craft within your soul. You and your soul coming together to build something very great. Um, something that you feel creative about. Something that moves your soul. That's what I'm getting here with the soul craft card. I'm going to read on that because I'm not too familiar with these cards. I'm not going to cat. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> but okay, the soul <clears throat> craft card says... Life happens from you, not to you, right? So if you've been feeling like things are just happening to you, like it's happening from you, right? It's all about what you radiate. The, the vibe that you give off is what brings the, the life experiences to you. And sometimes we don't like that because it's like, well, why am I getting bad experiences coming to me if I'm a good person, right? It's always here. Like things come to us sometimes to test our authenticity. It's like you say that you're a good person. So when this happens to you or you say that you're positive, right? So when something happens to you, how do you handle it, right? It's only in the spur of the moment when you're out in the field that shows your true authenticity, right? So that's what I'm getting like just being more authentic and understanding um, that life is happening from you and not to you, right? So the thoughts, ideas and topics you've incessantly discussed are crafting your life, Taurus. So focus on ones that make your heart smile. You are ready to receive answers from your soul about any topics, thoughts, or ideas you want to change. Be wise in your crafting and the path of least resistance will call you. Different soul vibrations will inspire different actions. If you're feeling tired, your inspired action will be to rest or sleep. If you're feeling love, you will be inspired to do things that emulate love in your day. We all sense with our soul, but often override it with the rational mind. Trust your soul 
is bringing you the most up-to-date information. So yeah, like listening to how your body feels, right? Your intuition, that's like your soul is connected to your intuition. Your ego is more so connected to your mind, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. We have to have our ego and we must appreciate our ego in our minds, right? But your soul will never guide you wrong. So listen to how things make you feel and pay attention to how you are feeling because that's what's you know, it really matters if you are feeling down or feeling bad about something, it's best for you to change that. Do something different to change your feelings so that you're not attracting something on that level because you feel how you feel, right? But you can change how you feel based on what you do in the moment. So just always remember that and keep that in mind, right? Meditate for at least five minutes a day. This is a way to reconnect with your soul and create your dreams. So maybe you might want to do some meditation to slow down a little bit and get hold of your thoughts and really like gain some sort of clarity because things could be coming at you all at once. Like a lot of ish coming to you, right? <clears throat> Think in energy instead of time frames just for a day. When you become an energetic match for your desired thoughts, you will meet them and there's no set time frame. So yeah, don't, there's no need for you to rush. Oh, excuse me. I just hit my elbow on that. Ah, that kind of hurt. But yeah, there's no need for you to rush. Just take your time and make sure that you are feeling your best. And listen, to, pay attention to how you are feeling, my lovely Tauruses. Because I feel like your soul is giving you some sort of insights or ideas. Like whatever it is that you want to tap into, whatever information you're trying to tap into, you can do it at this point in time. Or you have done it already. All right, the second card that came up was nourish. Yup, see, so the number 23, and we are in 2023. This is the year for you to nourish yourself and your relationships and all the things that you care about the most, my lovely Tauruses, right? Also speaking up for yourself too, because this card is blue as heck. Like this is very blue. And when I see blue, it matches this color right here, but the blue energy is definitely giving the vibe of your throat chakra. So there could be something that you need to nourish, maybe nourish your throat. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of somebody might have a sore throat right now um, because it is cold outside y'all. The weather is, <laughs> I'm dealing with it too myself. So. Yeah, it's like, make sure that you are nourishing yourself, taking care of yourself, tending to your emotions and your body, your mind, body, spirit, right? That's what I'm getting here for you. This is the basis of the reading for y'all, Taurus, is like making sure that you are nourishing yourself. You are loved and you are loved, right? You are loved and you are loved is what this card says. It says, this image consists of your soul star Gaia, the soul of earth, and the divine cleansing that is expanding the love of all. Honor your temple, your body, for it is a physical manifestation of your soul. In doing so, you honor earth, for she is the physical manifestation of Gaia. Don't judge your environment or your body. Just be discerning about what you focus on and digest what feels helpful. Gaia knows how grateful you are because you are here. She wants to remind you that worthiness and ease are your birthright. You are creating beauty, intimacy, and deeper connections with Gaia and your higher self just by playing on earth. Feel Gaia's loving embrace everywhere in nature, a backyard, a pot plant, or your mind's eye. If there's something you want to change about you or Gaia's body, connect with your soul and be inspired by a new path that will lead you to your desire on this planet all this forever moving into more and more love so i feel like right now definitely with this energy of this card that just showed up Taurus, i feel like right now you're focusing on changing something about yourself or the earth like it's something that you want to bring out into this world um but it's going to require you to nourish yourself and make sure that you are tending to your emotions and um Making sure you straight, making sure that you know that you are love and you are loved. And as long as you handle things with love, then you're going to create lovely things no matter what. It's just like you don't have to judge people. Um, you don't have to judge your environment. Just got to love it and um, accept it for what it is. But also know that it's all up to how you focus on it. Right. Like, you don't you can be in a certain environment and just not be focused on certain things. Like you don't have to give your focus to everything that's in your environment. So make sure that you are taking some of that focus um, from your environment and pouring it into yourself if you feel like you've been depleted or if you've been feeling depleted, right? We got the Queen of Pentacles showing up first. Ooh, okay, so look, this is giving me luxury and comfort. Um, this is, for some of my Tauruses, since you guys are Earth signs too, the Queen of Pentacles is definitely a representation of you or it could be an Earth sign that's in your life, a mother figure, or it could just be you. You might even be a mother, but I feel like you have a very comforting vibe about you. 
um, here with this Queen of Pentacles, it's like you are super comfortable in your craft, whatever it is that you're doing for work or whatever it is that you value the most. I feel like you're going to bring some luxury out of this or there is a lot of luxury coming from the things that you are doing, the life path that you chose, right? Um, <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles is very generous too. So <clears throat> whatever it is that you're giving to this world is like something that's going to be highly appreciated, highly valued. I feel like it could be very beautiful as well. It might be like art or clothing. You might be doing like some sort of um, health line, some sort of dietary program, something along the um, more holistic side of life here with the Queen of Pentacles. But I'm getting a very mature energy here showing up. So it's like, yeah, whatever it is that you're pouring yourself into right now, it can bring you a lot of uh, luxury. I feel like you've experienced a lot of luxury throughout your life too, or um, comfort here with this energy. But we got the Emperor showing up here. So I'm feeling like somebody, you might, <clears throat> with the Emperor showing up, this is definitely showing me that there could be something that you're being impatient about, or you're not taking action on something. You might be afraid to take action on something or you just might be feeling a little bit um, disconnected from your craft. In some way, shape or form, I'm getting this energy that needs to be nurtured. Some sort of, there's a lack of nurturing going on. That's why Nora showed up here. But the Empress in reverse is definitely showing me that there might be something that you're not impressed with or you might not be impressing the people the way that you want to. So it's kind of getting in the way of your creations or how you're viewing your creations. But um, just continue to like nourish all the things that you have created. Like, don't give up on your creations. Th this is not the time. This is the time to really like put forth your best effort and love yourself and love um, all the things that you have achieved, all the things that you've created. Um, but I do feel like there could also be some sort of lack of abundance going on here with the Empress in reverse because you might just be feeling like you lack something or like you lack some sort of skills also, fertility might be an issue for some of my Tauruses right now. Maybe you've been trying to have a baby. That might be what you're trying to build on right now. And it's been a bit of a challenge for you. But step out into nature and get yourself grounded um, and make sure that you are making the most healthiest choices in your life. Nurturing your feminine energy. Tap into that feminine energy that you have and nurture yourself. Also, my male Taurus too. Like, y'all not left out here either. I feel like... Um, in terms of my male Tauruses, you might have fell out with your mom or something like that, or your mom might not be showing up for you the way that you desire for her to. My male and female Tauruses, I feel like there could be some sort of mommy issues for somebody, but yeah. Let's see what else is showing up here. Following the Empress for Taurus. What else we got in this Taurus energy? Ooh. Oh. Hold on now. Okay, we got the seven of cups. Yes, there's a choice that needs to be made. But of course, when you have so many options, I feel like you got plenty of options in terms of emotional relationships. There could be like a lot of people trying to reach out to you and build with you energetically as well. And it's like, you're going to have to make a choice. This is for some of my Tauruses here. But I feel like this is about making a choice to... Um, <clears throat> Making the proper choice that's going to fulfill you emotionally and don't overanalyze it. There could be dangerous um, options out there too. So you want to be very much mindful of the choice that you choose. But I do feel like this is a very enticing, tempting energy. It's like a lot of temptations. You could be being tempted in so many different ways right now. But look at this dragon hair showing up here. So you want to be very much careful because his eyes open. It's like he got his eye out, ready for you to make the wrong move or get too close. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's a lot of value here too. So I feel like somebody could be trying to like block your options. Somebody that you know, like it could be um, a fire sign or something like that, an Aries, a Leo or Sagittarius, someone who is even brutal, kind of getting in the way of your options or making you feel like stuck on not making an option because you feel like this person might attack or do something to you, right? I don't know, that's what I'm getting here with the Seven of Cups. But I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made. So be very much strategic. Think it through. Um, also, I feel like somebody could be daydreaming of this. Like, you might be daydreaming of something going wrong. But it's like, wake up and realize that, ooh, love is coming into your life with the lovers. This energy does mean that there could be some sort of new connection, some new love relationship coming through. 
<clears throat> somebody might have left you. I mean, somebody might be leaving someone to come and get with you. Because that's what I'm getting here with this energy with the lovers. It's like this man is tending to this woman right here. The more pure white energy, lighter energy. It's like the more light you are, the more you shine, the more attractive you are, the more you have the option to be picked up by somebody. But it's like, even if you're not, it's like you don't have to be desperate, never. But it's like giving the energy of loving yourself. Like, when you love yourself, then it makes you more attractive to others. So, loving yourself shows up in many different ways. It doesn't always have to, um... Loving yourself is being okay with who you are completely, independently, and even in a relationship. So, it's like, if you feel like you can't love yourself or you're not, you don't feel right because you're not in a relationship, that's a sign for you to work on loving yourself, right? But, yeah, nourish yourself. I feel like nourish your connections, too, with, with people. Like, if you do find yourself making the decision to get into a new relationship with someone, make sure that you are nourishing yourself. Know that you are love and you are love and don't wait for that other person to validate that for you, but make sure that you stay secure within yourself with that. But I do feel like somebody could be getting together with somebody and building an empire, leaving behind a beautiful legacy here. This person is gonna love you like you love them. I feel like this person, this relationship is actually gonna nourish your soul. Um, but here, the star card showed up here. So I feel like you might be having a hard time having faith in this. You might be feeling a little bit hopeless in this situation. Like, you don't even know where to begin with nourishing yourself or taking care of yourself and loving yourself. But it's easier than you think it is. Loving yourself is just taking time to be and sit with yourself. Yeah, you might have made decisions in the past that um, you regret or you look back on and think, well, I'm not that lovely of a person. I'm a crappy person. You might feel like that, but you're not, though. So it's like nourish yourself stop don't allow those negative thoughts to get in and creep in and, and dim your light here with the star card showing up though i feel like somebody might not be um spotlighting themselves like you might not be allowing yourself to stand in the light in your own light you might be afraid to in some way shape or form then we got the tower in reverse showing up underneath the queen of pentacles so this is definitely telling me that somebody is very comfortable in their life and it's like something, some sort of career path or something that you do that brings you money or some sort of lifestyle that you have, you're not willing to let go of it here. And it's like, you might not be wanting to change certain belief sets or certain belief patterns or whatever the case may be. I do see the tower showing up in reverse. So this is definitely a prolonged um, time of transformation. It's like spirit is trying to transform you and change you into um, trying to shift your life i feel like you could be trying to like block this life change though this major life change either if you have not ever experienced this energy of the queen of pentacles the, this very rich luxurious comforting energy spirit is trying to bring it to you so it's like you gotta allow this old belief set about yourself to crumble like let it go um also anybody who is way too materialistic or too attached to their um you know their finances and in the luxury of their life is like <clears throat> I feel like you could be trying to avoid a tower moment doing everything that you can to maintain this lifestyle. But if it's not if it's not natural, if it's not really something that you are impressed with, then you got to kind of let it go. If it's something that's getting in the way of your nurturing essence, then it's kind of like, you know, you got to do something to tweak it. Why is the Empress here in reverse spirit? For Taurus. We got the two of wands. Okay, so yeah. I feel like. Oh, and then we got the high priestess in reverse. So um <clears throat> definitely a lack of patience here. Somebody trying to rush something. Also, I see like it's looking like in this card, it looked like somebody's doing some candle work or some witchcraft here. Um now this not going that's not gonna resonate for everybody, but I feel like there could be some sort of magic taking place behind the scene for you and it's like make sure that your magic is well intended though like whatever it is that you're doing <clears throat> make sure that your intentions are pure right whatever it is that you're planning on doing whatever the case may be whatever areas of life that you find yourself exploring make sure that you stay balanced spiritually physically grounded um and pure with your intentions because anything that's made from a non-pure intention is not going to have the outcome that you're looking for it's going to be 
it's going to come with like a karmic debt like that's toxic it's like if you put something bad out into this world or you do something without the purest intentions when that karma comes back around to you it's not going to be fun it's not going to be nice right so i feel like whatever it is that you're doing right now whatever plans that you're making right now um make sure that they are pure make sure that they are from love make sure that it's something that you're really going to be impressed with make sure that um you're not thinking in terms of lack right here either like your plans like try to see past whatever it is that you feel like you're lacking as you explore forward and as you move forward um and just get going i feel like it's time for you to get going with your plan taurus this could also be like um a smothering type energy here with this empress underneath the empress so it's like we might be making plans to remove yourself from a smothering mother a mom who smothered you or um neglected you even um it's like letting that go right because maybe you didn't understand why that happened but it's like it happened for a reason for you to realize that at the end of the day you still can have love you could still be loved you still are loved you must love yourself first though because that's definitely an energy the empress in reverse is an energy of codependence so I do feel like, yeah, it's like you're making some sort of plans to move out of that. You're exploring new territories. But make sure they are pure, that your intentions are pure. Then we got the four of wands and the ten of cups. Oh, that's a good that's a good outlet. So, yeah, whatever it is with the seven of cups energy, I feel like it's bringing you some sort of stability, even maybe a new home. You might be moving into a new home very soon. All I do know is that whatever this choice is, this choice that you're making, this wise choice, as long as you make a wise choice, it's like be very much wise with the choice that you make here, Taurus, emotionally. But I feel like this is a new home, a new stability, a newfound stability with the four of wands here, something that is really like, it's gonna have you celebrate. And you and your partner might be dancing together a lot or y'all might go out to dance or like, he might take you out, she might take you, I might just go out on plenty of dates. Also, I feel like somebody's building a new home. Like, it's just like you're starting a new family um, and it's a very prosperous time for you. The choice that you make leads to prosperity in your life. And then we got the 10 of cups showing up here too with this lover's card. So this is very good energy, I'm loving this. For you Taurus it's like I don't know if you believe it you believe it but take whatever resonates for you leave behind what does not this is giving me a like a new marriage this is like look at these people here with this ten of cups energy they're sitting under a tree tree what's that um something something sitting in the tree k-i-s-s-i-n-g <laughs> that's the energy I'm getting here right now with this lover's card showing up it's like you finally chose or found the love of your life. Somebody that is really going to nourish you, take care of you, and give you the family that you dreamed of. Um, I do feel like this is like a happily ever after type vibe. And that's so funny how this is the Ten of Cups showing up here with the Ten right there. So it's like, yeah, look at that. That's very significant. The Ten on Ten. And I feel like this card stood out to me a lot because this is, the, the, this is that nourishing relationship. This is what really gives us that overflow of emotions to where it's like yo i really love my life i love the people that i'm close to this is like the energy of raising children this is like somebody that you might even um get with and it's like y'all have y'all built such a beautiful little family and y'all are on one accord with one another it's like y'all care about each other y'all pour into each other y'all allow each other's uh space to love yourself but then it's like also we we love one another so much it's like i just can't get from around this person like you see this energy here i feel like it's such a close energy it's like you never want to be away from this person but also it comes from loving yourself too you want to feel that way about yourself too where it's like oh i just love being with me balancing out the masculine and feminine energies within because you are male and female you are your dad mixed with your mom never forget that just because you have the body of a a man or a woman, you still have that masculine and feminine energy within you. That's what creates balance in our lives, y'all. It's the polarity of life. It's the duality of life. But, um, it's, you know, it's just all about harmony, too. I'm getting a very harmonious energy here showing up for you, Taurus. Underneath the star, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So 
Wow, that's another 10 card showing up. And then we got the devil showing up here. So some sort of toxic beliefs or be mindful of the, the words that you are speaking here because this devil's tongue is super long. And it's like these people are being controlled um, by the tongue of this devil. So it's like this devil could represent you, the, the ego in you, the toxic side in you that's controlling the feminine and masculine energies within be mindful of what you speak right the things that you say release that um negative energy any lack energy any addictions to i feel like um there could be something involved in that you might still have some sort of addictions to something even if it's just codependency it doesn't have to be substances but it could be that as well take it how it resonates for you so yeah just make sure that you are nourishing yourself and not depleting yourself and allowing these toxic people because the uh devil could also represent a capricorn if you've been dealing with a capricorn here i'm seeing um pinnacle energy showing up here too the queen of pinnacles could represent a capricorn as well so you know ultimately um i'm getting though that there's going to be a lot of success financial benefit a, a legacy left behind something that you're very much proud of something that um will bring a lot of value, not only to you, but to the people that you care most about. Even um, you starting a new organization or a business or a family business or just <clears throat> financial stability, a platform where there's a lot of value, a lot of um, honoring traditions, giving honor to your ancestors, whatever the case may be. It's just like have faith, wish upon a star. Here, have faith, though, that this is what's going to manifest for you with this Ten of Pentacles, though, because I feel like you might be feeling hopeless right now due to whatever situation you're going through right now. If you have been um, in a scarcity mindset or if you've been lacking finances or um, not in that same lifestyle that you once were in, I feel like in the near future, the more you nourish yourself, the more love you're going to bring into your life, into your experience, the more value you bring into your life experience here. And since this is the Ten of Pentacles showing up with 10, 10, 10, you know, I'm really seeing alignment here for you. So it's like something very valuable is about to take place in your life. Um, a legacy left behind, one that you can really um, flourish with, one that you must have faith in even when times get dark or um, things are a little bit challenging. And it's like, why? Life is giving you every other reason to not believe in it right now, but it's like, you gotta believe in it and just move towards it. Like at the end of the day, anything that you wanna manifest and create, you can manifest and create, but you can't be desperate. It's like, don't don't settle for less by being desperate. Or um, if you have been feeling uninspired, then it's definitely time for you to fill yourself back up. If you've been feeling discouraged or even um, like you don't have faith, maybe you've been fighting with your faith on certain aspects or areas of your life. Just Take the time to um, plant those new seeds and don't dig them up, right? Allow them to grow here so that you can have this legacy right here and you can be the star of your life, shining bright for others to gravitate towards too that are in the dark. It's kind of like when we go through these dark periods in life, we go through them for a reason. And when we make our way out, then we are like um, an advocate or um, a spokesperson or someone who can really help other people get through their dark times as well. So continue to nourish yourself Taurus, because there's a lot for you to be happy about you're transforming and the end of this tough cycle is coming around so be mindful of the energy that you're putting out because karma is real allow the things that are ending in your life to end so that you can start new beginnings and come into the new year and to this new version of you with brand new energy and plant these new seeds and tap into your endless potential i love you so much taurus i hope you guys resonated with this please give this video a thumbs up share if you care and comment below if you guys resonated with this reading all right until next time peace love and prosperity